modular design parameters. I have a lot of architects and designers that get a hold of us and they want to take their, uh, basically their stick built um, and they want to turn it into a modular design. They want to learn how to do it from scratch. So I have um, written out a big long list. So um, if you want to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me on uh, LinkedIn or on S2A modular website. Okay, so the first uh, parameter that I want to talk about is the width. So we, we need to get these down the highway. The width um, that I use is 15.8 as a maximum. Um, you can't go over 16 feet without a police escort. Um, uh, again, that varies in some places. Um, some some cities only you go 16 wide, so you're going to have to check. Your width also includes the overhangs. So if you need your overhangs plus your 16, you're going to have to do your overhangs on site, or we do a hinged overhang, which is possible. We do that a lot. Um, okay, so my second parameter would be the length. And this is just uh, most of the time it's it's limited by what you can build in the plant. Um, but in some areas, such as San Francisco, where we're winding through really tight areas, we are going to have to put that mod up. So we're going to have to uh, check and find out beforehand just um, how long I can build these, and, and then I'll have to split it up. And in our plant, I can do 72. So um, there's not a lot of limitations right now with our plant. Um, my third parameter is going to be uh, my height. My height is going to be um, well, it's going to be 13 feet. So I try to do a 12, eight, just try to get under 13 feet, 12 foot, uh, the 13 feet is the bottom of the floor joist to the top of the framing of the roof. So a lot of times we're going to have, um, pitched roofs. So what we do is, uh, we, we hinge them or we cap them, just hold them down so we can, we can shape them, uh, uh, so the 13 feet uh, takes into account um, a three foot tall carrier. So the three foot is maximum. Usually they're 32 to 34 inches, but we just uh, we try to you know be safe and make sure that we can fit it uh, where we want to go down the highways. Now again, you're going to have to check your local areas because there might be some place you want to go that's going to fit underneath a bridge, and 16 feet isn't going to work. So. Um, another parameter is going to be, um, like, say you want two mods together in your wide open front end. So, um, we're talking spans. Spans are a little tricky. It's going to be, uh, uh, um, depending on the width of your mods, but, uh, I would say 26 to 28 feet on wood framing is going to be your max width. You're going to go on, um, on a ranch or the upper floor of a two-story, um, on the main floor of a two-story, I wouldn't go over 16 feet or you're going to be using steel. We don't want to use steel. Um, so there is my spans. The spans you have to look for when you're designing. And, uh, um, you also want to design in, when you have multiple mods, uh, what we call a set gap. We design to the wood framing around the outside of the mods. Um, but um, we we leave an inch and a half set gap in between on, on residential properties. So when you end up putting your 716 plywood on the main walls, your set gap ends up being about um, a little bit more than a half inch. But use that so you don't go over your um, your uh, built foundation, um, uh, your skew, and your setting. You know, sometimes it might make the mod grow a little bit. So you want to be safe. Um, and that's why we use a set gap. It's just, it's a fail safe. It works great. Um, so uh, I guess that's really the basics. I want to talk about um, drywall a little bit. We don't want to do drywall. We don't want to do anything other than half inch drywall. It's a heck of a lot easier to design with. Um, we only use the five ace type a uh, type X on fire separation walls that's on commercial projects or duplexes like that. So, um, make it really simple. Um, we design with rock on the inside, 
um, and raw on the outside. It makes it a lot easier to do the construction drawings when we have to do it. This process is really fast. So um, I, I always draw with uh, construction drawings in mind. Um, okay, so uh, if, like I said, if you wanted more design parameters, let me know. I have a big long list, but that's a good start for you guys. Um, so that's it for me. Um, that was my S two A modular. So stay classy, mod fans. See you next time.